So yeah, this this one, um, the negative spiral of Deku. Iziku Midori. I do not. This is gonna be the first argument that we've heard about this. Yeah. Um. And I wonder. I don't even know if he's saying it positively or just talking about. You it. know what? I also don't know. Cause. The most recent chapter of My Hero Academia has made Deku's character arc very apparent in this video. I'm going to break down the negative spiral of uh, Deku. And that's it. Let's get into it, man, I guess. Are you looking at the comments? Yeah. Clap, clap, him dark. It's like the 90s with the edge. Shut up. So spiky. So Show, shut up. Uh, and again, this didn't need to happen. This whole edgy side of him didn't need to happen. He's already shown uh, the willingness to accept help. He knows. I, I don't understand. Because all my all this time was just like, please, let me help you. You're you're working yourself to the bone. You need to rest. He goes, nah, you, I'm cool. And he flies away. Here's your then, lunch, bitch. <laughs> And then all of his friends rock up and just like, you need to chill out. You you need to rest. You're hurting yourself. He goes, ah, you're right. Oh, I'm so tired. Like, this dude has been the number one hero for some 20 years. This is in Grape Rush yelling at you. You've known this bastard for some seven months. You've had one conversation with him of importance. Why is All Might not more valuable in your eyes when he says, chill out? When you sitting there hungry as a bit and going, no, I don't need to eat. Why not just eat? <laughs> There's no reason to Every not bite eat. is another life lost. And oh, it's terrible. All right, let's get into it. Chapters, Kohei Orokoshi has been applying a massive amount of pressure onto the shoulders of each and every character within the series. The one who's been holding the most weight on his shoulders being Deku. Whether it be... Pause. I that was loud. Um, on each and every character. Um, it was um, Red Riot. I think it was Mina and um, Momo who were crying over Midnight's dead body. Have they mentioned her name as of yet? Have they shown any ill side effects of seeing their teacher who they have trained with and have been around for all this time and the top ranking hero being dead right before their eyes? Have they shown any ill effects of that? Have they mentioned her at all? I mean, no, they have not. Maybe in like a little blurb in the No, court. they have not. Or maybe like on a TV screen. Or maybe they did in the one little line. But they have shown no ill effects towards no. that. So, so, again, totality. Don't say every when it ain't every. Whether it be as early as the war with Shigaraki beating him in a straight up confrontation to him letting it rock go injured, and in the most recent two chapters of the series allowing all for one to completely trick and manipulate him with the weight of the world to merely Pause. be on Boy, sure is lucky that we just got away from that. The next chapter is just them, them, sitting, them sitting down just going, yeah, explosion was a bit. We got away from it, though. <laughs> Boy, can y'all believe what happened there? Boy, that was crazy. Boy, if somebody was watching, they'd be so excited. Good thing they ain't watching. So we just need to talk about what happened. Shoulders, I think. Hey, here's Alcatraz, the most unbreakable. Oh, they're out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're already free. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, we have no people with quirks watching here. No people that can have some sort of restraint. Midnight is not here. To subdue people. There's nobody who has like a jailing encasement quirk. Like uh, Hina from One Piece. There's nobody like that. It is a bunch of people with guns. Oh. in muscle, muscle eats bullets for breakfast. And is doing literally nothing to him. And he's crushing y'all skulls. Maybe y'all should have done anything. Maybe y'all should have had a poison warden who, if the poison touches you, you are dead. Unless you get the antidote. But who got the antidote? There honestly should have been a rotation of two of the top ten heroes. At all times. At all times. Number one and number ten. Number two and number nine. Number three and number eight. Or at least somebody who's busted enough to subdue a whole lot of people. Like Magellan. You don't need a bunch of people with yeah. Magellan. 
Magellan doesn't have to be strong or smart or fast or anything. He just got to infart. But, you know, if you go, oh, I'm the biggest, strongest dude, you're going to have a punch up with muscle and you might lose. And you might let other people gang up on you and shoot you or snipe you from behind or or a uh, stain come up and lick your blood and then you immobilize. You have, there is no content, there's no in huge Quark, def- quark nullifying robots or anything in completely yeah, indestructible robots. Why wouldn't they reverse engineer that f- in technology to take away quirks and go, uh, you know, let's oh let's y'all are dampen villains. their quirks. No, because uh, villains can be rehabilitated, yeah. which uh, understandable. Let's uh, let's let's do something that let's take dampen away for their five minutes. Let's take it away once a, it, it it is three days worth. And then you get a day to flex your and quirk. And then you back. Or when the alarm goes off, the gas comes and quirks are out of here. Anything. And then you can have your gun people with the tranquilizers. Because then it wouldn't matter because these are just a bunch of people. Muscle don't have his muscles anymore. He's just some dude with a wonky eye. This isn't what this video is about. <laughs> Dude, it's talking about recent My Hero, and we have yet in Revisited been able to talk about recent My Hero because most of it is about, hey, how good is My Hero, y'all? Clap. Hey, how good is Bakugo, y'all? Clap. Hey, how good is this and that? Clap. As opposed to the recent that's going, what? This makes none sense. This makes zero sense. There's no. I love Gran Torino. There's no reason why he should be drawing a breath right Not here. Not a now. single. What's he gonna do? What's he got left for life? He had a whole fist through his stomach. Didn't Best Genus retire or something? He was presumed dead, but it was a trick. I feel like so. There was a bunch of heroes recently that retired. Kill him. Yeah. Just why not just kill him in the in the war arc? There were like. Two notable people that died in the war arc, and one of them was Crust. Another was Midnight. Why not just pick people well, off? Huh? Twice. Twice. I talk about heroes. Oh, okay. And then we barely get anything with my girl Toga with that. Nothing. It's disgusting. Hey, twice is dead. Oh, sh- there's bodies all under her. Hey, I would have loved to have seen that rampage. Would have loved to. That would have been great. We're not allowed. We're not allowed. We, we've we got seven chapters of talking to do. That's what we're doing right now. Hey, who are you? Oh, I'm the girl that cleans the All Might statue. Okay, that's a chapter. A whole chapter of just talk. I told you. I love All Might to death. But they stand there and they talk. There's so much don't lose hope talk in my hero that is killing me. It's constant. It's all it's a non-stop trade of just like, hey, you can't lose the hope that you had on oh, my Deku, Bakugo, Todoroki, Uraka, Midnight, Ida, like <laughs> Momo. Red Riot. It just goes and goes. It goes and and why do you need to talk to All Might about not losing hope? He's the number one hero for some 20 years. His stomach was basically removed. He goes, I can only do this for five hours a day and guess what I'm doing for five hours a day? And he still went out there and did it. But no, All Might, don't lose hope because you made one little perceived mistake. Oh my goodness, just sit down and talk. Had something happen. And then, hey, something is happening in big muscle in Stars and Stripes. And it's one of the worst things. So you, f- either way. And I love me some talking. Yeah. I want, I want talking of characters interacting. Not this don't lose hope bullshit. Not or rock on the roof just going, please let Deku stay here. As he has walked through the f- in front doors, like there's not going to be a problem. He was he was wrapped in tentacles, tentacles on his back. And then he was just like, nah, you just off now. You walking right in. 
It's so manufactured. Deku the Hostess. Dude, it's 24 seconds. Dude, we get a chance to do nothing. <laughs> we talk for so long. Now, and what we are going to continue to see is the negative spiral of Izuku Midoriya. Oh. oh. You you want to you want to retry that one? Um it could be said that his name is Midoriya by uh Broken Ronin. Someone that has never heard his name spoken ever. Midoriya. That's a new one. Now, I can understand if there's no anime, there's no way to say it. Like, Narancia. Okay. Narancia. Uh, if you don't know it, you yeah. don't know it. That's cool. Uh, once it's it, out there, once you know how it's said, say it. Midoriya is not the way to do it. We're going to be getting that all throughout this video as well. I hope he just starts saying Deku. This. Uh, also, people, you're not smarter because you use the proper names. You're not smarter because you say Izuku Midoriya. Izuku Midoriya. You're not smarter because you say uh, Tian Shinhan or, uh, or are Kurarin. More you are more poignant, though. You're, you're making yourself seem like, yeah, I got the knowledge. I know, I know. I'm just you are flexing not. you a little bit. Just flexing. You are yeah. not. Bam. Just say Destructo Disc. You don't need to say Kienzon. It wouldn't use the Kien Kienzon Deshiano. No. Shut the with the accent on top. Shut the f up. Yeah, that that pisses me off. It it because you're just copying and pasting it from somewhere. You don't got that on your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> just say the word. Negative character arc of Deku's where he takes his heroism just a tad bit too far and he takes the burdens of the world completely on his shoulders and moves in a way counterintuitive to his end goals is something that I suspected from Koei Horikoshi. It even speculated on months ago in a video. And while I wasn't exactly hitting the nail on the head, I did call that this negative arc, this negative spiral for Deku would occur. However, I'd like to say this. Contrary to... Hey, pat myself on the back because I kind of called yeah. it. If you say 100 theories in 100 videos and then one of them come true, if technically you could come out and be like, yo, I was right, it means nothing. Popular belief, and as many people would have you believe, Deku has not made a 180 turn in his character. In fact, I think that... No, he's, he's more extreme in his ideals and it's stupid that he is. Yep. He's just like, save, help, hero, now. And he's not looking at the macro. He's looking at the the big picture. He's not looking at the micro. Micro. And he, he's not looking at the big picture of just smiling while helping people. Making people feel safe and secure. And why is he not doing that? Who knows? But he's just walking around with a torn uniform covered in mud. Black whips looking like in Venom. For what reason? <laughs> he's, he's idolized all my all his life he's the symbol of hope and peace he's not doing that for what reason is he not doing that we don't know he all it takes is just one second more of just going yo you all right it's me your boy deku and then flying please away please get to safety yeah you can but go he's here just, for safety all mites over there he's just tattered and just beating this out of villains just going i'm, going, Hi. I'm not gonna eat i'm not gonna sleep why when is we when are we when is we <laughs> I'm not when, gonna shower I'm not gonna do laundry yeah. when have we ever seen this obsessive mindset that he's had before with his note taking with his note taking absolutely but it's never hindered anything this is actively hindering he he's he actively hurting um all might he sees actively hurting his friends all might is like look I'm worried about you no don't be worried about me why you're not allowing this father figure to you the person that for the reason that you are where you are right now to worry about you for what reason he is the person uh, the only person alive who knows how to use the power that you're go using right now and you're not allowing him to allow you to improve you're just going i can do it all myself with Faji, and i can basically do 100 percent. so i don't need you anymore bye why God, I just want to protect people. I don't want people to get hurt because of me. 
Okay, so uh, what are you going to do? Just take on the world? <clears throat> you can't. You know that you need other people. This was shown all the way back with the uh, Great Brush, uh, uh, Sue, you and him thing. They all did things that the other person could not do and helped each other. Two of them there, they're all, they're both dead. Any two, any two combinations of them two there, they are dead. But all three of them, they live. But now all of a sudden, I don't need nobody. I don't need nothing. I don't even need to help people with a smile. The thing that I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. I just need to help them. Why? Where is that coming from? What, what harm is it in helping people and making them feel safe and secure knowing that you will always be there to help? Then you rock up with your tatters and then you in venom tender tendrils, you look like a villain. I'm going to be like, oh, sh now I'm in more trouble. Is this dude going to eat me? Is this some sort of spider villain? You don't know. You're not, in, you're not making your image the symbol of peace and hope and trust and love and happiness and all that crap. When people see you flying by, they go, oh, that, that dude right there that's going to save us. He's going to save us all. They, they, you rock up and they go, like, is he going to hurt me? You help and then you fly away. It's like, oh, do I owe him money now? <laughs> is he going to come back for my kids? <laughs> did they, did those two villains have a beef? <laughs> you, they don't know. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's not a 180. It's just a, a mindset. It's just going so far in the one mindset. It's, it's, it's a gradual one set mind. And there is almost no reason. For it. Yeah. I, I do not believe the reason that we were told of that. I don't. I simply It's not do sufficient not. enough. This has been the most natural next step in the evolution for a truly and wholeheartedly altruistic character like Deku in a dark, grim world like the My Hero Academia universe. No, it's not. It's not hmm. the logical next step. A Superman can always be Superman regardless yeah. of what's going on in the world. That's what's so good about him. Do you think All Might would not be All Might? You think he would just buckle under this and just lose his smile and lose his optimism and all that? No, this is not the logical conclusion. Or like the My Hero Academia. Because in Endeavor isn't, he's trying his best. He's doing press conference like, yeah, that Dobby stuff is right. It, it, it's all true, but I'm going to make it right. Yeah, I did all that stuff, but I'm going to make it right. Hawks walks up like, yeah, you know, I was a double agent and crap, but I'm going to do all that I can. We see people, again, just like with the Bakugo stuff, we see people in comparable situations handling it completely differently. Now, uh, they're not being chased by the most horrible person and all, and they want your power and stuff like that. But there are ways to handle this situation without just going, nah, I can do everything by myself. Academia universe. And this is something that I think has been built up for an extremely long time. Time and time again, he is forced to watch his people close to him or just genuinely good people are put into harm's way, all because of his lack of strength. And Pause. The That's being a hero. That's yep. everybody. Yep. You think All Might didn't have people that he lost? That he couldn't protect? Th that's, that is what it is. It is what it is. Like, like we were talking about with Naruto. You think he's just going to be a ninja and not expect people to die? It's not because of his lack of strength. It's just that sometimes that the dice roll like that and that person on the other side of the town and he gets his head cut off. Uh, yeah, Superman learned very early. You can't save everyone. He, With all his power, he lost his father to something that he could not fix. And this is just another self-imposed expectations. I need to protect everybody. People are getting hurt because of me. I'm not strong enough to protect them. You're supposed to protect somebody with almost a in thousand quirks within them that can do almost anything at any point in time. You're just supposed to protect everybody while you don't know how to use your ability that you just got that you're actively working on improving. Not like it's Bakugo who's just like, yeah, I improve. No, he's actively working to improve not only his ability, but the abilities that he's just now learning. He's doing all that he can 
And some people just gonna get a hole through their stomach. That's how it goes. That's just how it goes. And and what can you do? You can only stop the next time that that happens. You, you one person gets their a hole put in their stomach, but then you pre- you prevent five people from that happening. It's like a uh, Spider Man when he did the web and broke Gwen Stacy's neck. Uh, every time after that, he went, okay, I got to do it this way. I got to do it this way. He started thinking about that thing. In Deku's head, abandoning everyone around him to go fight on his own is simply the most logical and reasonable choice. If no one is around... Yeah, okay. Uh, abandoning his friends because he doesn't think they can stand on the same plane as him in One for All. Absolutely. He's standing next to some of the best heroes in the world, and he's going, I'm not eating. Yeah. For some reason. My clothes. No, I will not change them. No, I will not wash them. I will not be more presentable to people. I simply shan't. I have no... Why? Abandoning friends? Whatever. That argument could be made. Why? Yeah. I don't want Sugar Rush out here. You know... Okay? <laughs> okay? You know what? You make a lot of sense there, bro. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'm not cut off for this. Hey, I need to eat a cake before I'm one one millionth of your strength. All right, I'll rock back here. I got, I got to take care of. But Endeavor, you know he can take care of himself. Best Genius, you know he can take care of himself. Hawks, you know he can take care of himself. You can't take care of yourself. Because what happens when you finally collapse, when you need to sleep, when it's just like your body shuts down? Your mind may be willing, but your body just shuts down. What happens then? Oh, I guess you're going in an abandoned building where you could just be in eaten. What happens then? Oh, what? Hey, whatever. We're just not even gonna think about that. No one is in the general vicinity of him when he's in danger. They should be safe from failures, and they should be safe from the villains that fight him. Brother. Safe from failures? What the? F- are you talking about Deku's failures or their own failures? What the? F- are you talking about? I would like to say that this negative spiral is not something Deku will remain in forever. Very. It's very likely based off of the last few panels of the chapter and in general with other characters' thematic importance. That What's the problem? What? Did he say something? Based on other characters. Yes, he said that. Thematic importance? Do you disagree? The importance of this character in the theme mm-hmm. of Deku Spiral. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's fine. He could just say that and move on. He doesn't need to explain himself. He doesn't need do to people, explain. Do people's ears perk up when they hear these things? Like yes. iconic and thematic and yes, stuff? Yes. Are they just playing a video game? A thematic? Hold on. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a big word. Um, It, it holds a it's lot of... It's not a big word. It holds a lot of weight. It Hold a lot yes, of weight. it does because then you have to start making connections. You could be like, "Yo, that's good because that was funny," or you could be like, "That's thematically good because it ties it to this thing." I don't and it need the joke to be thing. broken down to say that joke was funny. You don't? No, I do sometimes. I don't sometimes need... it makes it even funnier. The, like uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph ending his journey and beginning his journey with his wallet stolen. That's cool. Tell me that. Sh- don't tell me the importance of his wallet being stolen because of the theme of Lost or some bullshit. <laughs> the theme of Lost, that's exactly what it is. But dude, yeah, it's uh, and, and again, he, he just says it and he doesn't need to explain it because, hey, you already know what's up. Importance that either Uraraka or Stain or a combination of the two are going to forcibly open Deku's eyes to his hypocrisy and idiocy that he has within himself and snap him back to his usual, more lighthearted, much more teamwork-oriented self. But one thing that I find extremely interesting about the negative spiral is the amazing and outstanding build-up. You see, Horikoshi is masterful Ooh. when it comes to Ooh, the- Ooh, pause. <laughs> amazing, outstanding, masterful. You were wondering if this was a positive video, were you? Two minutes in, <laughs> and he's going masterful. Masterful. What does Hirokoshi do masterfully? Character interactions that are 
characters that are established enough. Nope. No? Nope. Because uh, who's our boy? Who's our T-boy? Oh, Geno? Geno. It wasn't established. Best character. Yeah, but... um. LeBron and his interactions in the fake game! The LeBron Geno stuff could legitimately be its own manga. I would I would buy manga volumes of those two. Yeah. He does that really well. It's every 100 or 200 chapters, but he'll have something that's such a banger that it will restore your faith in him. And because it, it'll be like 15 is, chapters of banger, you just like Miracle was like a punch in the arm like what happened? This is amazing. Yes. So you got crap like that and just like, dude, you got this within you. And it's not even like Naruto where it's just a steady decline. It's just like, I don't think he has it in him anymore. You clearly you have it. it in you. With just this dumb bunny girl who's just so rip roar in the fight that she's just like, oh, my arm is gone. Let me just tie it up real quick with my own hair. All right, let's go. That's the stuff. That's the good. That's the good. And again, gentle and La Brava is legit. I call that masterful. Yes, that's the masterpiece stuff. Just him, just her looking at her eyes, and then gentle recognizing her being self conscious about her eyes, and then going, "Look, we're a pair. We're, we 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 truly are a perfect pair. That's the money stuff. It's so money. If we can you see." In her past that she's constantly getting made fun of for her yes. eyes. Because it's like, oh, she's just so creepy. And she's putting all this compress on it when she's with Gentle. And he's just like, no, you can't no. fix that. Be so comfortable I'm- with yourself. We're the same. People are looking at you. People are looking at me. That's, if it was just a full mock of that, imagine. Imagine that level not even that level. Around, near that level. Around And that, that be the shine and stuff that you get every 50 or so chapters. That be your seeing your pink moments and crap like that. Let that be the shining and stuff with just around that? Dude, that be legit just like, this is one of the greatest things of all time. Because honestly, that that, school, that festival with Deku and, and Gentle is one of the greatest uh, arcs I've ever seen. And it's so small stake because he's just like, look, there's a little girl over there who's never smiled and she's excited about this. I can't let you take this away from us. Because cause if, if if it was just some dumb school offense, we probably wouldn't have fought that hard. He'd be like, ah, villain. But no, he had a reason to just be like, He would have alerted the, he would have alerted the, yeah. like, was there. Hey, there's a villain. But he's like, I cannot let you do this. That's, Nothing can go wrong because the second something does, yes. they're shutting it down. And then That's they're the just good. growing begrudging respect for each other. Like, I underestimated you. You're no, no one's whippersnapper. I'm not laughing at you, gentle criminal. Oh. That's the stuff. That's the juice right there. Yes, him just going, I surrender. She had nothing to do with this. She got her whole life ahead of him. I'm some bum. Imagine. That's the masterful stuff. I can it's I can comedy, say, it's drama, it's all the stuff. It's that emotional. You need. Cause Aries there. Aries is like, is Deku gonna perform or not? And then you just see Deku on stage yeah. and she gets blown away. It's so, and then you afterwards you see her and Mirio, and Mirio's just Mimicking her with the raw hands raised. It's so good. Uh, that's where you. That's where you put your house down. That's where you live. But he's not interested it's, in that. It, I, nobody is, because that's people's least favorite art. He's just. It feels like filler. Shut up! It's so good. The plot doesn't need to move. 300 paces every same page. It just needs to be some dumb failing YouTube villain (laughs) trying his best pouring tea all over his associate. That's, there's, there's, 
there's like three things that I could say is masterful in this. But that's what Gentle, I- the Mirio stuff of I'm still a million. Oh, <laughs> uh, after he got his power taken. Yeah. yeah, that was great. And probably Miracle. <laughs> uh, no, that's uh, probably I, it. I, I like Sun Eater, but like. I, I'd go all my uh, versus one for one, all, one for one, all versus all for one. I don't one. think it's masterful. I think it's just a very. I say like, the end of just like I'm putting everything. This is the dying embers. The the I I'm going to say the um Grand Torino. No no, let him have this moment. It's his last one. That's, Fist okay. up. So there's some stuff in here, mm-hmm. but th- whatever he's about to say with this build up. Couldn't be further from that. <laughs> you see, Horikoshi is masterful when it comes to the buildup of his characters, and specifically... I didn't know how many people were in the yeah. class. Uh, not what? that, not that, the, and it wasn't even a close number. It was 20 people in the class. <laughs> I said 12. <laughs> it wasn't even a close number. A little over half of the people. And I thought that was a little high. What was the masterful build up of Mina? Oh, uh, she's scared of villains. She's secretly scared of villains. Oh, but that was established right before she needed to take nope, action. Because when the villains uh uh invaded them, she's hugging somebody and shaking. And what further evidence do you have that a lot huh? of that to be? That's the foundation. Now we need to build huh? up. That's the establishment. Now we need it being built up. Huh? She never ha- fought a villain after that. Because when she was in her um, thing, uh, internship, she went, oh, we didn't have to fight anything. We barely did anything. Did she fight anybody in the forest? No. She was one of the classmates that was left behind. But that wasn't for due to fear. No, but just, she never had to fight another villain. I'm sure she did. Uh, the one this time is, she faced villain, she was garbage. scurry. This and then she garbage. never fought another one. And then she got this super is, you're scurry. You're playing on my lack of knowledge of Mina because Horikoshi don't give a shit. <laughs> so why should I? This isn't fair. <laughs> I mean, what's the build up of Kaminari, Ciro, uh, barely anything with Great Rush, a- almost nothing with Ayama. What's the build up of Ochiko really? What's the build up of uh, Asui really? Of uh, uh, Nadare is the only girl is the only one of the big three that does not have a past. Hey, we don't know anything about her. Tell me, invisible girl's name. And 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 Miracle didn't need to be built up. It was just like, yo, here's the number four hero, and she's like, yeah, here I am. And then she was basically absent, and then she comes in half moon kicking people's heads off. And that's the hypish hype. That's what you should hype beast over. <laughs> that's that's hype beast worthy. Because <laughs> my gosh, she was amazing. Yeah. She was just like, oh, there she is. She's coming in like a in wrecking ball. Nobody stopping her. Who wants to stop her? Who can uh, stop who her? Who can stop her? <laughs> case it's just slight enough that unless you carefully comb through the manga you wouldn't see it but it's present enough that you can track the breadcrumbs in order to see where it's going let's hear it nuance in my opinion is the perfect mix in order to get a good amount of foreshadowing ever since the end of the war in the series deku has been a little bit different or at least his normal tendencies have been slightly shifted Enough to us. Breadcrumbs? That's the end of the arc. I was about to say. Ever since the end of the war. You mean 10 chapters ago? Oh, this has been set up for... This is a masterful setup. What? Three chapters? And then he's he's gone? (laughs) And then he's just like on on a rooftop? Ever since the end of the war? Dude, what? (laughs) Then breadcrumbs, that's the front of the witch's house. Like, how they get back home? And the breadcrumbs are still in front of the bakery. (laughs) You're smelling the bread. <laughs> they bagging it up. Hey, let's eat some of that. It smells really good. Now that's what's behind us. What they cook it. <laughs> Three words noticeable. Whereas before he was someone who would completely trust and lean on his fellow classmates when he needed to, or just when he felt he couldn't hold on to the burden any longer. Now 
instead of leaning on his classmates, instead of leaning on his allies and his friends and everybody that he cares about and loves, Deku simply leaves you away and strikes out on his own. That's the bread crumbs? That's not, that's a loaf. What are you talking about? That's the cause and the effect. Oh, I need to leave. And then he leaves. I used to trust everybody. Now I can't. Goodbye. Maybe he still does trust, but I can't trust them to be in the same playing field of this fight because this is the biggest, baddest villain. So to protect them, I gotta go. I gotta go. And what breadcrumbs are you talking about? It's not. Are you? What are you? What are you? I'm looking up how long it was between in the end of the war to this to him piecing out. It it might legit be eight chapters, if that. Oh wait, end of the war to that? It might be like four, honestly. But that's a masterful setup with breadcrumbs of plenty. I was thinking legit the end of the war to, um, Deku getting blown up. Might have been 10 chapters. Mm-hmm. Closer to 13, probably. Uh, let's go 300. 300 is, in fact, the end of the war. So let's go a little bit earlier than that. To 98. Thank you for all these ads on this illegal site. You could just you, grab my phone and use the... It's all the way over there. Legitimate site that I pay for. All the way over there. To support the MAGA industry. Okay, so yeah, this is when they woke up two days later in 98. Do, do you want me to just grab my phone? By the time you grabbed it, I done already done found it. Because here it is right here. He's already out. <laughs> They're talking in his mind. Which is already out. We got the Dobby stuff. He's still there. Okay, yeah, so it might have been like 306. Because I think talking in his mind was when he was uh, laid out. And everybody was like, wake up, Deku. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's probably like 306. So this is... Please don't be exactly 306. I'm gonna be pissed if it was. No! Stay asleep, Deku! No! No! So this is like eight chapters. Yep. What breadcrumbs? What breadcrumbs? <laughs> I can't get to my room from to <laughs> yours with eight breadcrumbs. <laughs> get lost along the way. <laughs> I couldn't get from my door to Chris's computer <laughs> with eight breadcrumbs. <laughs> Masterful. And brings the fight to Shigaraki and to bring all for one to just this. Well, nothing extremely majorly out of character on its own does show a shift in Deku's character into some more extreme cases. His form of protection warps from. That's Batman. His form of protection warps from Superman to Batman. Is this what you're about to say? His form of protection warps from purely fighting alongside you to leaving you as far away from him as possible in order to keep the attention away from you. And honestly, when you look at the fact that Horikoshi's inspirations stem a lot from comic books, especially characters like Spider-Man and things like that, where the characters and the superheroes distance themselves from their loved ones in order to keep them safe, it makes a lot of sense that Deku, the main character of a comic book inspired series, would take a similar path throughout the manga. This Wally logical idea does clash with his previous ones, which I personally think was Horikoshi's way of saying and showing that Deku was changing into a much more burdened character than he once was, kind of taking on the mantle of a true, quote-unquote, typical Western comic book hero where they really have to carry the weight of the world, their friends, their family, and their loved ones on their shoulders. That's what he had to do from almost the jump. Yes. One day you're going to have to fight one for all. Mm-hmm. That, that's what that one was. For one. Who cares? But... 
I mean, the X Men can do that, and they fight as a team. Fantastic Four can do it, and they fight as a team. Superman does it. Lois knows who he is. That's his family. It's not all just people going, no, I can't. His mother and father know. Lead. <laughs> we we to... had to wrap up the presents in lead. You mean Santa, Santa had to. <laughs> oh, right. Santa. That what damn Martian door. Man, Hunter is just going through the house. Mm. Lead. <laughs> But the thing is, Superman don't open the presents early. Nope. He can. Nobody can stop him. He's Superman. But, but he's, he's such, such a such child. A dingus. That he wants to see it. But he doesn't want to devalue the work of wrapping it up and somebody getting it from him. But he wants to see it. He's such a child. I love Superman. But then, I got to see this. And people clap. And, and people, people try clap. to justify it. And people say breadcrumbs were masterfully left in eight chapters. And like four of them weren't even about him. They were about Dobby and Endeavor. And and then one of them was about the f- in all for one inside of his mind. Masterful. All alone, or at least so many times they think. In the most recent chapters, he is also able to display a change in Deku's character through visual storytelling several times to reinforce this idea. If you don't remember, in the last page of chapter- What a terrible- Horrible. Terrible visual representation. Awful. It's so on the nose. It's so unnecessary. It is, it is purely, y'all get what's going on here. Look how tattered his clothes are. Isn't this awesome? No, it's not. It is not. Look how lifeless his eyes are. Why? 306. Pause. What's in that backpack? Change of clothes. <laughs> Food. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe different boots. Since the ones he, he had became claws. Became claws. Somehow. That. I remember I went over to the kids and I showed, they were like, what's going on there by here? And I showed them that. They were like, what the f- is this? Like, yeah, Deku done going back. It's like, how? It was like, he just did. <laughs> I couldn't explain it. How it can like, you? He just pieced out. And then it was the big tentacle one where he's walking with uh-huh. his literal claws. And they were so confused. <laughs> 306, Deku was shown to be standing on a building high up all alone, preparing himself to face a villain. Why is he up there? Why is he up there? For what reason? The usual light in his eyes was dimmed, and the usual effervescent personality of his... Absolutely, but he's still holding on to the things that represent other people. He's got a uh, Gran Torino scarf. He's got... Tattered. The- Tat for some reason. He's got the um arm braces from um All Might that that from America, the movie Canon. Who knows? Whatever. He, um if he didn't care, why why does he need that mask? What is the purpose of the mask? He's still holding on to that. He still got the gloves that were made by Swirly Eyes. The woman? Yeah. Oh May Hatsume. May. Hatsume. Hatsume. She still got that. Um costume made by other people he's got a backpack with something in it he's still <laughs> holding the accoutrement of other people he simply does not care he just he doesn't not care it was gone and while we later find out that he's working with all might along with other heroes it doesn't change the fact that internally he feels alone and through this page this beautifully illustrated page he's also alone as he overlooks this city the buildings are crumbling around him just like his own personal world seems to crumble <laughs> Nah. Nah? Nah. You don't, you don't care for the symbolism? Nah. You're not here for that? Nah. That not what we're, it's not what we're subscribed for? Nah. The buildings around him. Mom joke about that quite a lot in the Discord. We just had a little go at Mark earlier today. 
about uh, he, uh, his new Naruto video. Was I've, I've heard about it, but I have not heard it's it. It's horrible. But he's talking about how um, the color wheel shows that orange, and then the opposite of orange is blue, and then in the middle of blue and orange is pink. So Sakura is in the middle, and and they're on the opposite ends. And then Gavin is just like, "Oh yeah, he's gonna be real fed up when Sasuke changes to all black." And then we just started like, "All oh, the blackness symbolizes the darkness within his heart. The One Piece outfit represents his one track mind." <laughs> And this is just that. <laughs> it's just that. Hey, y'all. Join the Discord. It's fun it's going on there. It's fun. I was dying laughing. Uh, y'all some funny mother. Y'all some funny muffs. <laughs> And Ryder keeps doing his huge and terrible worth of Minecraft. It's just like, in my opinion, just slid in. Literally. So I'm, I, I told him, send that to him on Twitter, and he will make you a co writer. Because he's <laughs> in his mind. Like none other. I don't see how he does this. Because I'm like, dude, I'm I'm literally getting mad reading this. <laughs> because it's so plausible. That's how good of a job you do it. Seems to crumble. His mental state seems to be deteriorating. And all of his ability to lean on others in order to gain strength seems to be gone as well. Pause. Did I just once Why time? though? We never saw why. We saw him wake up, then be like, yo, your arms are fine, though. You're getting used to it. You don't have to worry about you breaking them forever. And then, basically, he, he leaves after a conversation with one person who was all might. He leaves. We don't get to see why he's like that. We just see that he is. So, we're just like, what the f is going on? And then, he just left the letter and it's like, yeah, he just rocked out. And then, all throughout the rest of this stuff, it's just like, yeah, I can't, I can't put them in danger. So you're in tatters? You're not eating? What does that have to do with any of that? Hey, how about you repair any of your shit? Yeah. Is this about not putting them in danger? Not having them worry about you? Because if you're in tatters, if you're all by yourself sleeping in alleyways, I'm assuming, they're going to be worried about you. So what is this about? I'm just one step deeper into, I think, the masterclass visual storytelling that Horikoshi uses. Let's take a look at the last time we see him without a mask in the Nagant fight. Now, we know that Lady Nagant was a pretty difficult fight for him and forced him to evolve not only as a hero. Pause. And uh, yeah, this is that master class uh, establishment where she just rocks up and it's like, oh, she's actually one of the greatest heroes of all time that we've never mentioned before. Hey, we know this one sniper dude, but my God, that other sniper lady? Je oh, Jesus Christ, I could never touch her. No comparison. Oh, where's just, she been at? Oh, she's just been in jail and we've never mentioned her before. No mention of just like, hey, maybe we can re rehabilitate her because she's amazingly strong. Maybe she can teach snipe a thing or two. Nothing. And also evolve as a fighter. Pause. Her this is this is the thing that happened in Naruto where it was just like, uh oh, all the dead people are coming back to life. Here comes this legendary dude that we've never mentioned before. Never mentioned, never seen, but my God, just know that he's strong. Sit down and have a history of lesson of just like these are like the five greatest gun people in history. No, no have it have it be like um. Have it be, these are the five greatest speedsters in, in history. So it relates to Ida. And then you bring in one of them speedsters later. And be like, oh, we heard about him in the class. And you'd be like, yo, and have Ida marking out like, man, that muff hit Mark 8. That's how you do this. Have Snipe, have a conversation with Snipe in yeah, five well, chapters that? before this going, ah, oh, man. Uh, Lady had, Nagant got out. Something. Something. Or him like uh, sniping villains and just like, dang, I missed him. Lady Nagant could have hit him. Five chapters before that. And then you're like, oh, that's her. That's who he was talking about. Hey, we don't mention that name anymore. Which would also speak to why people don't know about her anymore. Instead, chapter here. Ah, uh, flashback. Join she's, other than that. Oh, she's one of the most influential, greatest heroes of all time. She's got children flocking to her. She's put in prison and forgotten forever, apparently. 
also evolve as a fighter. However, he stayed true to his motives and reached out a helping hand to Nagant when she needed it most. Deku's pure heart being on display is not only shown through his eyes, but through his mask being down. The emotional and mental wall being lowered. Pause. And, and so I have changed. <laughs> You're right. Boom. <laughs> but then what happens when his classmate shows up? What, what happened to that kind-hearted stuff there? Why is he extending a hand to a person that just tried to snipe an armless man? But then when the classmate shows up, like, look, we can handle this. We want to bear your burdens together. It's, it's hard to argue that when it's before that for him. True. Dude, how was Deku rewarded for this? What happens when Deku takes off his mask and lowers his emotional guard? What does this result in? Well, it blows up in his face. Like no, she blew up. Yes. That had nothing to do with him extending a hand, being close, nothing. That was that that was no consequence of anything that Deku did. She blew up. De Deku is no worse for it. Absent of Deku, she blow up. She blow up. If she were going to give secrets to heroes, she blow up. Location. Where he at? Oh, he over the blues. If he kicked her hard enough and she broke all of her bones in her body and he was just like, yo, she's not needed anymore. Blow her up. Nothing changes. Deku received zero scars from this. Deku was not injured in any substantive way. And it's not Deku's fault. Yeah, Deku, th this is nothing. Face. Like I've been saying, this is some truly amazing visual storytelling on Horikoshi's part. The fact that the last time Deku lets his emotional guard down... It resulted in him literally being blown up and it blowing up in his face represents... No, because he had his mask on when they went to the house and it blew up. That's what happened. To him, at least, that the time for emotions and vulnerability is over. Which Is, is what, it? Is that, turn... is that what happened? Is that what he realized? Or are you? is this your interpretation? Based upon sim symbolism of his, of something blowing up in his face, which is an American idiom that I'm sure Orokoshi is not familiar with. <laughs> uh, it's, it's well known enough, I'm sure. Then again, some people don't know the slavery that went on in America and, how, and the connotation of a black fist raise. So, I mean, maybe they don't know dude, that. Dude, look at Choco Love. It's just like, Muff was just like, yeah, that's fine. Big fine. That's that's legit minstrel show stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he got this big old bell pepper nose and these big old Sambo lips. Are you telling me they understand blowing up in your face? And, the, <laughs> and, and what that means and represents and stuff? When they making Sambos? <laughs> Legitimate ones. <laughs> To the point where Forky had to go, oh, no, not this character in One Piece. <laughs> they still were running up with them lips. <laughs> Push everyone away and immediately beat the next assassin with no difficulty. And when you look at the fact that Deku is so far gone, he's so broken, so deteriorated, so negative. Deteriorated is his own doing. Yes. He's not eating. He's not sleeping. He's not giving himself time to rest. He's not taking showers. He's not cleaning himself. He's not letting his clothes get uh, repaired. Nothing. It's of his own making. He's pumping iron for 20 hours and going, why are my arms like this? My muscles. Duh. What do you, th what do you think was going to happen? What do you think was going to happen? You're lifting 300 pounds for 20 hours. It's always been just like, you look good, you feel good. Put yourself in a nice suit, you're going to feel good. But if you covered in mud and and and, and mud and, and <laughs> pee and rain, you'll feel like, sh you'll look like, sh you're, you're going to act like. Sh so negative and feeling so much pressure to keep every single person safe on his own that he's pushed away his idol all night. You see how tragic of a character arc is. Stop being that! <laughs> you, you want All Might to be safe, so you leave him alone in the middle of the street. 
in a villain plague town where he cannot defend himself. Because you have his power. (laughs) (laughs) Might you see how tragic of a character arc Deku seems to be going on? Now, really quickly, do you want to know the key difference between how Lady Nagant and Deku's conflict versus Deku and the Second Assassins went? Well, simply put, it's the mask. The mask rep- The mask is what did it. It's not that she was Skronker. It's not that he got better with his fight with her, and so he got Skronker. No, the mask represents his cruelty, and his, and he, he's not even trying to help this dude. He's got the mask on. So he helped Lady Nagat with the mask off, but this dude, mask on, no help. You just getting strung up. Phew. Presenting Deku's heart and exterior with no emotions, no sympathy, and no allies is what allows him in an instant to take out another assassin when he struggled for chapters upon chapters against Lady Nagat. Pause. She, he got stronger with her, and she was stronger than this dude, probably. We don't know he what sucks. this dude does. He's we got don't sharp teeth. Wow. We don't know if Deku got the jump on him. We don't know if uh, what his abilities take to activate. We don't know if it could affect a Deku's speed or strength or whatever, because Lady Nagat could. We There was nobody nearby, because Deku was doing very well before she was just like, yo, I'm going to snipe him and then put you in a way and then uh, put you in a disadvantage. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know about what happened here with this f- in lack of a character design person. Not f- it. Mask on. Mask on. So cool. You're just strong up. No help. Now, is it possible that the assassin that Deku fought the second time around just wasn't as strong? Of course. However, yes. the narrative impact and thematic impact of Deku... He just saying stuff! He just saying the buzzwords of narrative and thematic! It's just like, yo, this makes my point. Y'all, y'all good, right? Y'all, y'all understand. Understand? Clip, <laughs> VA, understand? Oh boy, what a monster he turned out to be. (laughs) But yeah, this is just... Could that have happened? Yeah, but narratively... But the narrative and thematic impact of Deku's actions uh, leads credence to it actually being that the cruelty he now feels because of his mask is what's leading to his quicker finishing of these characters as opposed to the gentleness holding him back. Did I just write your script for you? Give him a job. However, the narrative impact and thematic impact of Deku winning so easily is not diminished in the slightest because of this. Because human beings can't truly comprehend all of the stimuli that go on around them, especially when in times of crisis or directly after they experience some severe trauma, whether it be mentally, emotionally, and physically, which Deku has checked off all of the boxes above, they tie themselves to very seemingly small and minuscule things that make them feel better or safer in better and safer times. Now, Pause. this might just... Does All Might not make him feel better or safer? The the friendship of Uraraka? Does that not make him feel better and safer? What makes Deku... What are you arguing that makes Deku feel better and safer? The mask. The mask? Being the alone? Mask. What? Is that... The mask takes him back to a simpler time. Where or he, he can go act. back to the simpler time. Where the simpler time is over there. Where his mom made his costume for him and he had this little... And he was You're writing his modded. script for him and I'm not here for this. Be me reading a little bit too much into the manga and maybe... You think? Do you think that is very possible that you are just going too far into reading what is essentially a character just being stronger no he has that the to math be like... is what's leading to his degradation yes. of uh, himself as his humanity or whatever and because of that he's able to defeat these villains easier it's a logical through line He's not thinking too far into it. If anything, it's too subtle for me to understand, and he's finally brought it to light. And Here I'm going to give this pie. a like and a subscribe. Coach, you too much credit. However, to me, I think it's possible that subconsciously Deku was made. I think it's possible. Yes, anything is possible. Absolutely, that's not an argument. That's not a. That's not a positive for Horikoshi. The connection at the mask. I think it's possible that somebody else is writing this manga for Horikoshi and he's just putting his name on it. That's possible. We've seen plagiarism before. We've yeah. seen ghostwriters before. Yeah. 
well, that subconsciously Deku has made the connection that the mask, and that with the mask and with his cold heart, nothing can hurt him, and nobody can hurt who he loves. And if that's the case... But that mask represents All Might and his mother's love. The, the reason why he's got that guard on his face is because it mimics All Might's permanent smile. The ears are All Might's hair. So you're, you're holding on to the visage of All Might, but not the dude himself. Nor his ideals. Nor his ideals. We'll simply dive deeper and deeper into the darkest parts of the hero society to keep everyone safe like a true hero would. However, Deku was angry. Deku was determined. He's altruistic and he's heroic. All of these feelings clash internally and rather than deal with them and deconstruct them as he needs to, he pushes himself further and further into the darkness that being a hero forces you to see. Just like All Might in the past, Deku is forcing himself to be the one and only person to save the world, even though it simply isn't possible. Honestly, well, earlier in the video, I stated that the start of this negative arc, or at least where the start of this negative arc drastically started happening right after the war, there are hints and little moments of Deku's rage that foreshadow Deku becoming the sort of hero, the dark hero, the lonely hero that he is now, if you will. As early as chapter 286, it's been foreshadowed. Compared to 308? As early as... 22 chapters before don't don't read one piece your mind will explode there's still things we need to be answered from like chapter in 67 why can fruit why can weapons eat fruits inanimate objects eat fruits we gotta wait for vegapunk here's my mom's vivid card Oh, that's big. She'll take care of you if you ever need her. Hey, here's 12 years later. Oh, that's big, mom. But no, 22 chapters 22 before. 22 chapters. What breadcrumbs? Wow. As early as Much foreshadowing. Chapters. Whoa. This dude. My God. Goodness, this, this is 20 chapters and he's going, look up back there. Look at, look at it. Maybe I'm looking too far into this, but look into this. <laughs> By both Bakugo's words to Deku and his reaction that he is not able to continue to lift the burdens of all this pain and suffering of not only the world, not only himself, not only his friends, but the villains as well. As Bakugo tells him to stop trying to do everything on his own directly after being stabbed, this thought and this advice is quickly discarded as Shigaraki insults Bakugo, enraging Deku to the point of near insanity. This also may just be me, but doesn't Deku's rage when he launches himself towards Shigaraki kind of remind you how he looks when he has his mask on, at least in the most recent chapters? No! No, it doesn't. If anything, he looks more like the fing, uh, teleport dude. <laughs> if you're a bird. Like me and think that they hold a surprising resemblance. This further entrenches Horikoshi as an outstanding writer who's able to string Pause. together threads. It looks like this thing to me, and that indicates that he's an outstanding writer. It doesn't look like it. To me. So is he still an outstanding writer? Is he still not a masterful visual artist in conveying things through the visual medium as opposed to saying them? Because he looked like he wear a damask. He's been building for years together to get an amazing, chilling, and honestly gut-wrenching twist for his main character. For all of my fellow My Hero Academia fans, let me know if I hit the nail on the head here. I was planning on making this video sooner, actually with the release of last chapter. However, I think dedicating a bit more time and energy to really get the analysis of the most recent events was worth it. Time, energy, the analysis, what are you talking about? What time, you ain't what say energy? Sh you ain't say sh Nothing was, you just said what happened. And like, look, 20 chapters ago, he looked kind of angry. I feel like Maybe I'm looking too far into this whole mass thing, but that's just what I think. And it makes sense. And yeah, who knows? And comment and subscribe and like. A much better video. And I do hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you guys ended up enjoying the video and want to see more of My Hero Academia content like this on a regular basis, Consider subscribing and hitting the bell, as well as liking the video, as this lets me know exactly what type of content you guys want to see in the future. Links to similar- How 
the subscribing and hitting the bell. Let them know yeah. that they want to see that type of content. Um, Right now, we're at 900 subscribers. If we put this video out and we jump up to 920, I wouldn't be like, this is what people want to watch. I'd be like, hey, maybe somebody found an older video and just like, yo, they did like six in Hunter Hunter videos. Let me subscribe to them. Your subscribers going up does not automatically indicate this is what people want to see. In the end screen then in the description below for you guys to enjoy at your own leisure. But in any case, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, this is Broken Ronin signing off. The f was that? <laughs> I'll tell what you what it was. A nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. But no, what, what was that? This Broken. Is signing. Signing. Oh. This is Broken Ronin signing off. Look, it's not what's right for me. It's what's right for you. <laughs> Took them stairs two at a time. Uh, like, yep, drop the mic on that bit. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever is good for you. It's not what's right for me. It's what's right for you. <laughs> Why do we remember that so so vividly. It's, it was so long ago. <laughs> I'm just trying to feel big. That vivid memory of Jim just hitting them stairs. <laughs> Girl, just bouncing. Hey. Yeah, this is, this, this, this was, this was just one of those looking too far into it to make it poignant as and thematic as possible. Uh, yo, this this whole Deku thing kind of poop. Uh, no, it's actually not because it's been set up as as far back as twenty chapters ago. You see, and it's and it's been let breadcrumbs left for eight chap. That's what you saying, dude? He just pieced out because he wanted to protect people, but it doesn't. This was not convincing in no. the slightest. No. If this Honestly, is the yeah. argument that people are rocking, I... How many views does this have? Um, Broken Ronin is pretty popular. I'd say it'd be like 35K. Mm, I'm thinking like 18. 90. Oh, Jesus. It's uh, 45 thumbs down and 4.5K thumbs up. Way up. Big up. People are, um, people are really digging this. Okay. Cause they're digging the thing, but it's it's not good, y'all. Yeah, it's really not. And people just want to be like, oh, so that's why it happened. Ooh, or that's not why it happened. Or it's just like, hey, I, that's what I thought happened, and thank you for telling me that I was right and it's opening my eyes to stuff like the mass thing, which is absolutely true, unless you believe it isn't true, in which case it isn't true. <sighs> Until next time. Wow, man, my hero. Stop asking for her next viewer request. Stop it. We understand. It needs to be special when it happens. If it happens every month, it ain't special. It's basically y'all channel at that point. <laughs> It'll happen again. It's, it's basically us just sitting down in the room and they're like, watch. Yeah. We watch monkeys feel the pain. I, I did that to you. It's like, all right, well, come on now. Uh, it'll come back. It, will come, it will come back. You know, I understand y'all got some y'all y'all got some videos y'all want to be like, yo, watch this right now. And here's a chance for them to write it, watch it right now. Because people recommend stuff like, yo, that's on the list and we'll get to it when we get to it. We don't know what we want to do. We'll just be like, hey, yeah, here's the got, list. Uh, Joshua a long time ago recommended that Inner Demon Done Right video that we still need to do. Uh, yeah. Somebody else rock recommended Gohan, the hero we need or whatever that was called. The hero we deserve uh that was a long time ago yeah there's things yeah, we're, that... we were gonna get to it it's just that we we don't we're bums it was in two hours ago that he came into my room like hey, what we, hey i'm off of work what are we doing hey, and we just went through the early. list like hey do? hey well, how about this now nah, how about this that's uh um, how Before about the end, it was like let's do something demon slayer and then we went through the demon slayer we were like kind of don't want to do these <laughs> you're a bunch of in bums and then afterwards, it was just like, so what are we doing? So, so what are we doing? And that's always what it is. There's no grand plan. There's, there's no, no plan. There's nothing. It, it is, we take this day by day. It's not like we record on a, in Friday and then Tuesday, we got what we getting. No, we got what we getting 
Sometimes minutes before we do it. Literally, I'll wake up at 12 10, go, what do you want to do? Pick it out and we'll do it at 12 30. We just picked out the live stream for Sunday. There's no plan. There is so no plan. It's whatever we feel. It's like, yo, that sounds like a good idea. Hey, is it going to be a super long? It's going to be a pretty short one. What are we doing? What anime movie? Whatever. There's a there's a Lion King one that I want to hit so bad, but it's an hour long. And we just went, we're not doing that right now. But so These yeah. combined was 20 minutes and we did almost 220. So, viewer request month, calm down on that. Y'all just had it. You just had it. It's over. I understand if you just like, oh, man, my didn't get voted like it should have. I'll get it next time. And you put it in the... I understand that. But it just happened. It just happened. Let us breathe. <laughs> um, Let us get some seven to nine videos for a little while. Yeah. Let us get a, a nice ten every now and then. That was with straight tens. Hall of Fame, worst ever, goats, twelves, elevens, across the board. I understand that's good content. Straight tens is better than sixes and sevens. And you're like, ah, whatever. And you feel like you part of the show because you doing this to us. But it needs to feel special. People were geeked about uh, viewer request month, and that ain't happening if it happens every other month. It's like, okay, viewer request month again. No, I need to be like, yo, it's an event. Viewer request month. Bam. Boy, what an event it was. But it needs to breathe. It needs to breathe, and we don't need to hype it up for a long time. Oh, yeah. Never. It needs to just be like, 10 days, viewer request month is happening. <laughs> Cause I can't, I can't deal with that. Oh my! It was like, hey, give us the video. It was like three days it, later. It hey, need, vote for it. It <laughs> needs to be that because the 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 cloud hanging over my head. I don't want that, especially after last time. Cause people are just gonna be like, oh well, now we just gotta at least match up to that time, or yeah, don't try it. to outdo yourself. They're gonna. <laughs> it's it's the duality of man. Of course it's going to happen. They're going to be like, well, well, we can't, we can't, because if it, if it's just a bunch of sixes and seven, they're not going to want to do viewer request month anymore. They're going to think we're bums. So we got to come with the tank. We got to drive a tank up to their house and just blow it away. Hey, y'all can throw some rocks at the doors every yeah, day. That's some fine, eggs. too. That's fine. We some don't need the fine. tank. People don't understand that. No, they don't they want, want that. that suffering. People, People got them videos holstered Bruh, and, and ready. And it was three days. We didn't announce an end date, a start date, nothing. Three days, we had like 40 videos. That's crazy. They're locked and loaded. They're ready for it. And I don't want it. It'll come back. Um, we need to decide what we're doing. The people on the Discord want a thousand celebration. We need to decide what we're doing for that. Uh, yeah, we can um, definitely talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that. And, and what's sad thing. is... We might not have time to think about it. We were just at 800 like a week and a half ago. Jet Black J has been has been sending people our way. They want us to hit <laughs> that wants dumb that. foul wow. They want that foul. I I don't understand it, but I appreciate it, but it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Okay. I might I might separate this little rent part because my <laughs> God, y'all. Yeah, y'all need to learn. Y'all need to learn. Y'all need to understand. We understand. We get it. Viewer request month was fun for y'all. <laughs> it was quasi fun for us. It was on the peripheral of fun. <laughs> Bruh, it's so sad that the least painful vi vi uh, video was probably the Cosmo. Probably. It was either the Cosmo or the and totally not Mark. No, two not Mark. two heavy hitters. Not Mark. Mark can off. <laughs> it was Cosmo. But then again, the Cosmo was also really bad. It was this. really bad. Man. That month was... Oh, oh. Two usually heavy hitters. And we're and trying to like, go... Which one was <laughs> the least painful? Because it's one of them two. That month... <laughs> Oh man, just 
if one day we get to the five and ten k talk, this it's gonna be in the talk of legends of just like that first viewer request month. <laughs> that literally almost broke them week by week. <laughs> oh, them live streams, dude! That breaky live stream. I, I, it was like a countdown, and I was like, <laughs> I do not want to hit play on this. He was terrible. That's just going to be the stuff of it. You had to be there. <laughs> you had to be there. You can look at the stream chat and all that way back then. It's not the same. You had to be there. All right. that's, 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 that's all. We understand. Who couldn't? We understand. It was fun for you But who y'all. wants to see the Super Bowl every month? Yeah. You can't get the NBA Finals every month. Not every movie can be the Avengers. You need an Ant Man every. You now. need an Ant Man every that. now. And then, hey, guess what? When the Avengers come back together, you can pump your fist and go, "Yeah, boy!" And then later, be like, yeah, "I guess Age of Ultron wasn't all that good." <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? You say once we hit the five and the ten ball, this would be the stuff of legend. Can you imagine if we're on viewer request month four and we're and hold on and it's just like. Wow, one was really tame compared to the rest. <laughs> oh man, they shattered through that bricky. <laughs> if you were request month two, <laughs> they weren't playing. <laughs> month a- and three videos worse than bricky. How? <laughs> one of them was nine minutes. <laughs> they were waiting for that one. <laughs> Future is uh, pretty dim, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's brighter than we ever imagined, and yet bleaker than we could have ever hoped The for. brightest light casts the darkest shadows. <laughs> 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 and we, it's casting a wide oh, boy on boy. us. <laughs> oh, man. We, it's Shika reaching all the way through the trees. <laughs> we got y'all, Nick. <laughs> Easy. Okay, uh, yeah, we're out of here. Oh, man. That was a rough one. Yeah, don't know what we're doing next. Never know. Never know. You got to understand the process. There is no process. There is barely a process. (laughs)